Hi, I'm Melinda Acosta with Body Manipulation Pilates. I'm here to do a video for you today on some of my favorite exercises. It's a short video, but you can practice the exercises over and over until you get really good at them. I like to use some props sometimes, and you never know what you're going to need. So I like to keep a band, a fair band, a ball, a heavier weight, minus seven pounds some one pound weights and some two pound weights and of course my magic circle and of course my towel and my bottle of water because I'm going to work really hard and I hope you do too. So let's get started. So for the first part I'm going to use the ball and my band and I'll be changing throughout um, the exercises. You don't have to do the exercises with equipment. You can do the same exercises without if you don't have them. I just personally like them because it gives a lot of feedback to the body and it makes my body feel better. So if you have equipment, that'd be great. And if not, like I said, just do what you can. And of course, as always, make sure that if you're injured or if you have any pain, you don't do an exercise, you know your body, let it talk to you. Also, if there's any exercise that you cannot do fully, do the modification, which for most exercises means less range of motion, as well as having your head down or your knees into your chest versus out in the long position. If you need to, keep your back imprinted on the floor, and if you have a stronger core, you can have a small arch in your back. Let's get started. So I'm gonna place the ball behind my back, my low back, and it's good if it's not too full. That way it'll stay put better. And put the strap at my feet with my legs together, holding tight. I have a pretty good grip on my band. And you can also grip your band with your toes so you don't lose it. So sitting tall, I'm going to curl my pelvis back and push my low back into the ball and push my belly into my spine. And really just make sure I'm staying with my shoulders slightly rounded forward. Look at your belly. Give it a pulse. Two, three, four. Really let that ball be a sounding board for your spine. Seven, eight. Roll up all the way and sit up tall. Pull your ribs up off your hips. And again, curl back with your pelvis, pushing your low back into the ball, pushing your spine into your low back. Try to go even deeper this time. Really, really inhale. Exhale. Pull your belly back and go deeper. Pulse in here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, roll all the way up, and sit up tall. And you might need to adjust your ball. Let's do that a couple more times, really stretching out the spine. Sit up tall, and round back. Pull your belly in, pull your spine into the ball. Hold, and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, round forward, and stack back up. One more time, sit up tall, pull yourself up off your hips, and curl your pelvis back. Pull your spine back, pull your belly in, push back, hold, and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, curling up again, and sitting up nice and tall. Now, go ahead and move your ball, and we're gonna go into a full range of motion. So we're gonna start the same, sitting tall. You're gonna curl down, pull your belly into your spine, just like you did before. Curl down, curl down, curl down as far as you can go without losing that curve in your body, without losing control. Now release the straps just a little bit and hold your palms out 
and lift your arms up and down and up. Good. Inhale, exhale, pull your belly in. Pull your belly in before you move your arms. That way you're really working from your core. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now to the side. Over to the side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Do you want here? Let's do four and three and two and one. Good. Hold it there. Roll up all the way and sit up nice and tall. Good. All right, let's go into the next part. We're going to continue with that same pattern of movement and take it into a couple of different positions. Ready? Sit tall again. Get a good grasp on your strap. Roll your pelvis back like a wheel and go into your curve. Go very slowly. Think tall from the crown of your head also so you lengthen the spine. Keep rolling down slowly, articulating. Let the low back hit the mat first, then the middle of the back. Then the shoulders and the head, extend your legs straight out. Reach your feet into the strap, pointing them. Reach your head long, lift your belly, pull it up and in, and feel a nice stretch in the front of your body. Now walk your hands up a little bit on your strap to give yourself some, some slack. Pull your ribs in, pull your arms up to your armpits, reach them over your head. Now, control them to return and reach. Reach through your feet, reach through your hands. Shoulders down, away from your ears. Come down with control. Reach and bend. Let's do five. chin, round up, bend your knees, and sit nice and tall. Good. All right, let's go into hundreds. We're going to start the same. Actually, grab up on your straps just a little bit. All right, sitting nice and tall. We're going to curl down again. Curling down, always lengthening the spine, staying as long as you can. Don't sink. Go onto the tips of your shoulder blades and straighten your legs up. Reach your arms long if you can. 
reach your fingers up. So you're really pushing. Inhale, exhale, draw your legs up. Now you can bring them higher if you need to, or any range that you can. Make sure your heels and ankles are together. Make sure your knees are together. Make sure your hips are together. I like to keep mine low. Start pumping. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, pull your belly in. Inhale, stay rounded up with your rib cage. So use those ribs to pull up. Keep pushing. Inhale, two, three, four. Reach your arms nice and strong. Reach your feet nice and strong. Press into the backs of your legs to keep them straight and squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. 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 Good, hold it there. Pull your arms in, stretch them out. Lower down, circle them around. Reach them up, lift your legs, circle your arms, and come down. Reach and lift your legs. Circle your arms and come down. Reach, lift your legs slightly. So the belly has to tighten before the legs come up. So you inhale, and then you exhale. Tighten your belly, lift your legs from your belly so that it doesn't go into your back. All right, so reach and lift the legs, circle around and come down. Reach, lift the legs, circle around and come down. One more, reach, lift the legs, circle around, hold the arms down, flatten your arms, lift your legs. Coming up for inhaling as we go down and exhale to come up. Inhale down, exhale up. You can go just short range of motion. You can go low, you can stay low. You can go up to low, whichever you choose to do, as long as you're tightening your belly and moving your legs from your center. Make sure none of this gets into your lower back. If so, then don't do the exercise or do it with your hands under your sacrum, under this part of your body. Keep on going, reach, and up, and reach, and up, reach, up, one more, reach, and up. Lower all the way down. Lift your arms, circle them around, draw up your chin, Roll up and sit up nice and tall. Good. Go ahead and get rid of your strap. And you can grab your two pound weights or your one pound weights. This next exercise series is uh, following the same body movement. We're just adding on. So I have my one pound weights. My arms are straight in front of me. My legs are together, sitting nice and tall. Now right here, make sure your shoulders are down, even though your arms are reaching out, and reach your arms up, but really keep your shoulders down. Keep your ribs down. So I'm doing a little mini crunch to pull my ribs in. It's kind of over-exaggerated, but I wanted to show you. So really reach, keep those shoulders down, keep the ribs in, lower the arms. Good, take them out to the side. Good, close them. Now, reaching forward, you're gonna roll down, roll down, curling your tail under you, just like we did before, pulling your spine back, lengthening your spine long. Take your arms over your head, hold. Now, try to keep your arms right by your ears without letting your shoulders right up to your ears. Reach your fingers, Inhale, exhale, tighten your belly, lift your legs, just a little bit. Now, if this gets into your low back, then lift your legs more or bend them in. So for now, 
I'm going to lift them to here. Even though it's hard for me, you can see I'm shaking, but I'm gonna do it. All right, now we're gonna alternate arms and legs swimming on our back. So I like this swimming on my back. We always do swimming on our front, but we don't do enough swimming on our back. These are really good for elongating the muscles in your body, reaching, stretching the fascia in the front of the body. Pull your belly in deep, deep, deep. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Reach your toes away from you, really pulling the space between your hip sockets open. Keep going. Reach. Inhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Point your toes, point your fingers. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now you might notice it's getting into your legs and of course in your arms. As long as it's not getting into your back, then continue with the exercise. Good. Now hold it straight, lower down, reach, reach, reach. <laughs> Circle your arms. There at my water bottle. Nod your chin, roll up, and reach. Really, really reach. Reach, but shoulders down. Pull your belly in. Spine is rounded. Curl down all the way. Arms up overhead, circle them around, reach, ground up, curve forward, roll back again, arms overhead, circle the arms, somehow I got too close to that, reach your arms, nod your head, peel off the mat. I like to really feel this position here. So I like to hold it sometimes extra and then really go into a deep curve while I'm reaching my hands. And I really feel a nice stretch in my lats. Good, one more time, curl down. Reach, 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 lift your belly, circle your arms. Reach, nod your chin, roll up, reach, 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 reach some more, come all the way down, stretch, and sit up nice and tall. Good, all right, next exercise. So for this exercise, I'm gonna use my ring. All right, and we're gonna use the same movement pattern that we've been doing. So press your ring, draw your shoulders down, secure your shoulder girdle, and I'm gonna press on the ring as much as I can throughout and really get my muscles firing up. So not only am I gonna be working my obliques, but I'm gonna be working my arms too. I can already feel them shaking. All right, sit tall, curl your tail under you, pull your belly into your spine. Now, rotate to the side and center. Really use your rib cage to rotate, not your arms. So if you keep the ring centered you, then you know that you're doing it correctly. If you bring your arms out to the side, well, then you're not doing it correctly. So let's just try to do it correctly. And center, stay curled back, rotate from the rib cage, keep going, and 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Take the arms up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Take the arms down, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Take the arms up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Down, 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 up, up, up. Up, hold, 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 hold. Good. And come all the way down. Roll up, reach forward. And then stack your spine back up. Good. 
On to the next exercise. We're gonna take the ring in between our feet and lie down. You might need to get a different angle for this one. Mom. What? Yes. All right. My feet are gonna go that way, so I don't wanna hit you. And action. All right, so we're gonna do a little TikTok action here and some corkscrewing with a little bit of rollover. All right, so I'm gonna scoot up further on my mat. Squeeze your ring at your ankles. It might get slippery, so just be prepared to adjust as needed. Curl down, bring your knees in, lift your legs up to the ceiling. Bring your arms out to the sides, shoulders down, ribs in. Point your toes, press into the backs of your legs so they're nice and straight. And you're only gonna go as far to the side as you can without losing control of your abdominals, ribs, and legs. So we're gonna start by tick-tocking to the left. Inhale here, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, pull your legs center with your belly to the right, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now I'm only gonna do a few of each of these because it gets really intense. So now circle the legs around in a corkscrew and hold, now reverse the circle. Now on this one, you wanna inhale around and exhale as you come center. The stomach is pulling the legs back to the center. Inhale around, exhale, pull your belly in, come back center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Really try not to move your hips too much they will move to the side just a little bit, but try not to come completely off. Keep it small, keep it tight. That's what I like. Now, you're gonna circle the legs around. Hold on, I forgot, bring the arms to the side now. Now, you're gonna circle your legs around, come back up and press your hips up. Then we're gonna roll down with control, reach your fingers, pull your belly in, lengthen your tail out, and come back down. Circle to the other side, and up. Reach, squeeze your buttons, and roll down. Down, 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 down. Circle to the other side, and up. Squeeze, roll down, roll down. Switch sides again. Keep it going. And lift. Roll down. And circle. And lift. Roll down. And circle. And lift. Roll down. And one more. And lift. Good. Roll down. Now, this time, whoo, hold on. My legs need a break. All right. Break time's over. All right, this time you're gonna take your legs over your head. So you're gonna circle your legs around, lift them up, bend at the waist. So keep your hips stable, don't let them sink. Keep your hips up, but touch your toes to the floor. Then lift your legs back up and roll down. Whew, my form was terrible on that. It's hard talking and exercising sometimes. Circle. Lift, touch down, lift, roll down, and circle around, lift, touch down, lift, roll down, Woo. circle around, and lift, touch down, lift, roll down, and one more circle and lift, 
touch down and lift, roll down and woo, take the circle out of your legs and take a break. I'm going to grab a towel, pat off my face, grab some water. And let's go ahead and move on. So the next thing we're gonna do is some side planks. For side planks, you have many different options. You can be on your elbow, you can be on your hand, you can have your knees down and together, you can have one leg out, you can have both legs out. So for me, I like to do one leg out. I just like to focus on the exercise and not have to worry so much about good form sometimes. All right, so I'm gonna lift my hips, take my top leg out, lift my arm. I'm gonna lift up from underneath. I'm gonna reach over from the top and then I'm gonna come halfway down and then push back up. Really trying to keep my hips forward. Really trying to lift up from underneath. Really trying to reach as far as I can with the top of my body. And let's do four and three and two and one. Hold it there, take your arm out, rotate underneath for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up, hand on your hip, lift your leg up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, make circles, five, four, three, two, one, reverse the circles. Now bring the leg in, take it out, and in, and out, in, out, in, out. Really press your hips forward, squeeze those buns, and up and hold. Come down, bend your knees, and mermaid stretch to the side. Now, rotate to the side, and swing your legs over to the other side. All right, ready? Push up into your side plank, arm is up, Lift up from underneath, pull down and lift. And three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, squeeze, hold, take the arm out, rotate under, nine, stay lifted. Keep those hips lifted and forward. Rotate, take your head with you. Look where you're going. And four, and I'm a terrible counter. And two, and one. Hand on your hip, lift your leg up, and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, 10, circle, reverse it. Now take it in and up, in and up, in and up, in and up, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, hold. Come all the way down, stretch to the side. Rotate towards your leg. And turn on to your stomach. Oh, 
and grab your ball. Just keep it to the side. We'll use that a little bit later. Let's see if it stays. All right. Starting on your stomach with your feet together, your hands right under your shoulders. Really work into the heel of the hand to activate the tricep. You're gonna press, lift your ribs, lift your belly, keep your head in line with your spine. So stare just on towards the floor, towards like a corner on the floor. Look at the floor. That's what I'm doing. Now come all the way down and press up again. Really lift your ribs up. Try not to let them sag down. And come all the way down. Now take your arms out a little further and press up as high as you can. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And lower down. Oh yeah, I forgot one more thing. Grab your strap. Now place the strap under your hips, right in the middle. Grab either side with a nice tight grab and keep it nice and taut. You're gonna reach your arms in front of you. All right, so lift your legs, lift your arms. Lift your legs, lift your arms. Good. Now, circle your arms around, bend them, and reach. Circle them around, and bend, and reach. Circle them around, bend, and reach. Circle them around, bend, and reach. Now reach back and hold. Circle to the front. Reach back, press, circle to the front. Reach, press, circle to the front. Reach, press, circle to the front. Hold, now swimming. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Keep it going. Woo, keep it going. Lower down, press back into your child's pose, put your strap to the side, grab your ball, now put your ball right under your ribs, and if it goes into your low back, then go ahead and take it off. I just like this exercise with this ball because it helps me gain the stability to be able to do the exercise a little bit better. So. It's under my ribs, my arms are in front of me. All right, reach your arms out, put them behind your head, lift up. All right, so we're just gonna be doing some upper back crunches. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, now rotate to the side. Touch the elbow down, but you're really rotating with the rib cage. Try not to lead with the elbow. The elbow is just going along for the ride. Rotate from the ribs. Rotate, rotate. Press your hips down. Try not to let them ride up. Rotate, rotate and rotate. Center up, 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 and down. Press back, put your ball to the side. Hold on to the floor, tuck your toes underneath you, walk your hands out, and go into your plank for push-ups. And we're gonna take the elbows back, then we're gonna open them to the side and back, and open, and back, and open, back, open, back, 
open, keep going. I know it's hard. I really need to catch up on mine. Good, press back, take a break. We'll do one more set and then we'll go into our stretches because stretching is very important. Ready, one more set of push-ups. Walk your hands out and press back and side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can do more if you choose. I'm gonna try to start doing them more often than just more. And maybe we can start um, doing more each class. All right, let's start with our stretches. So go ahead and put your hands down. Tuck your toes under you. Walk your hands into your feet. Roll up slowly and with control. Now, stand in the center of your mat. Then open your feet hip distance apart or shoulder distance. And you're gonna start by lifting your heels, rotating to the side, walking your hands down. Now, step, bend your front leg and step your back leg back some more. So you want your knee to be over your ankle and not any further over. Keep your hips squared so that you're not open or bulging in one area. Really press the hips down and lengthen through that back heel. Press that heel back. Really get a nice stretch. Bend that front knee. Take the knee down, press it up. Now you're pressing through the heel to activate the hamstring there. Bend, straighten. Bend, hold, reach behind you, grab your foot, rotate towards the foot. Bring the foot down. Slide back so your chest is on your front leg, but don't drop your hips. Flex the front foot, circle it around, circle it around. Good, place the foot down, go into your lunge, press the leg up, bring your hands into your leg, hold, rotate toward your leg, Hold, come back in. Chest back on your leg. Straighten the leg. Rotate the feet center. Rotate to the other side, bend the knee. Step back with the back foot. Lower the leg, straighten it. Lower and straighten. Lower. Straighten, lower, straighten, now lower. And turn and face the leg. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Bring the leg down, straighten the front leg. Flex the foot, circle the foot. Reverse the circle. Hold, hold, hold. Transfer your weight again, lift your leg. Bring your hands inside your leg. Rotate towards your leg. Come back down. Hands on either side. Lengthen back up. Walk your feet back to center. Now bring your feet back together. Reach down, hug your elbows. Swing from side to side. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Bring the hands down. Curl up using your belly, drop your tail. Hold it there for a second, circle the arms. You can bend your knees here. Circle the other way. Curl up all the way. Inhale. Exhale. And finish. <laughs> 